Welcome to a chilling exploration into one of the most enigmatic mysteries of the 20th century, the Diet Loft Pass incident. In this video, we'll unravel the perplexing details as well as examine the eerie circumstances, the unexplained injuries, and the myriad theories that surround this event. Let's get right into it. The Diet Loft Pass incident is a mysterious and eerie event that occurred in the Ural Mountains of Russia in 1959. It involves the deaths of nine experienced hikers under circumstances that remain unexplained to this day. In late January 1959, a group of ten hikers, led by Igor Dyatlov, embarked on a challenging trek through the Ural Mountains. They were all experienced and well-prepared, mostly students and graduates of the Ural Polytechnic Institute. The goal was to reach Otorton, a mountain located in the northern Urals. The group set off on their journey and made good progress, documenting their experiences in diaries and photographs. However, when they failed to send a planned telegram signaling their return, concern grew among their families and authorities. A search and rescue operation was initiated. The search team discovered the group's tent on the slopes of Kolatsyakl, a mountain in the northern Urals, on February 26, 1959. The tent was torn from the inside, and the hikers' belongings, including shoes and warm clothing, were left behind. The peculiar discovery raised immediate questions about what had transpired. The searchers followed the hikers' tracks and found five bodies in a nearby forest, seemingly having died of hypothermia. They were inadequately dressed, and some were barefoot. Strangely, they appeared to have made a makeshift campfire. As the search continued, for more bodies were discovered, deeper in the woods, and these had more perplexing injuries. Three of these hikers had severe chest fractures and skull injuries, as if subjected to a high level of force. One woman was missing her tongue, adding another layer of mystery. The injuries sustained by these four hikers were inconsistent with a natural disaster or animal attack, leading to speculation about human involvement or even extraterrestrial encounters. The investigation that followed only deepened the enigma. Soviet authorities closed the case, citing a compelling unknown force as the cause of the hikers' deaths. The files were classified, and the incident became known as the Dyatlov Pass Incident. Various theories have emerged over the years to explain the events of that fateful night. Some suggest an avalanche or infrasound, low-frequency sound waves, as possible explanations for the hikers' panic and injuries. Yet, the terrain and circumstances make these theories improbable. Others propose more unconventional ideas, such as military involvement, secret weapons testing, or even encounters with extraterrestrial beings. The lack of a clear and satisfying explanation has led to continued fascination and speculation. In recent years, efforts have been made to reopen the investigation and reevaluate the evidence using modern technology. However, the mystery of the Diet Love Pass incident remains unsolved leaving the world to wonder about the strange and tragic fate that befell those nine hikers in the Ural Mountains in 1959. The Dyatlov Pass incident continues to captivate the imagination of investigators, conspiracy theorists, and the public alike. Despite numerous attempts to unravel the mystery, no conclusive explanation has emerged. One aspect that adds to the intrigue is the radiation found on some of the hikers' clothing. While the levels were not significantly high, they were above normal. This detail has fueled theories ranging from nuclear weapons testing to encounters with extraterrestrial beings. However, the source of the radiation remains unclear, and the implications are uncertain. One popular theory suggests that a phenomenon known as paradoxical undressing may have contributed to the hiker's demise. This phenomenon occurs in cases of severe hypothermia when the affected individuals paradoxically remove their clothing due to a misguided sensation of feeling overheated. However, this theory fails to explain the extent of the injuries sustained by some of the hikers. Another theory proposes that a Karman vortex streak caused by the wind patterns in the area could have led to infrasound, capable of inducing panic and disorientation. While this could explain the initial chaotic escape from the tent, it doesn't account for the severe injuries sustained by some of the hikers. Some researchers have revisited the avalanche theory, suggesting that a small, localized avalanche could have caused the panic and subsequent injuries. 
Yet, the lack of evidence for an avalanche and the peculiar circumstances around the tent's condition make this explanation less convincing. In 2019, Russian authorities reopened the investigation into the Dyatlov Pass incident. They aimed to explore various scientific and technical possibilities, including examining the hiker's clothing for traces of explosives. In January 2022, the results of this reopened investigation were not publicly disclosed. The Dyatlov Pass incident remains one of the most enduring mysteries in the realm of unexplained phenomena. The eerie circumstances surrounding the deaths of those nine hikers continue to fuel speculation, with each theory having its limitations and unanswered questions. Until a definitive explanation emerges, the Dyatlov Pass incident will persist as an enigma that defies easy resolution. The Dyatlov Pass incident has inspired a wide range of artistic and literary works, including documentaries, books, and even a fictionalized horror film titled Devil's Pass. The enduring mystery has led to numerous expeditions to the site by independent researchers and enthusiasts seeking to uncover new clues. Some have delved into the possibility of indigenous Monsi people, who inhabit the region, being involved in the incident. However, there is no evidence to support this theory, and the Monsi themselves dismiss any connection to the hikers' deaths. The lack of an official and comprehensive explanation has fueled conspiracy theories, ranging from secret military experiments to Yeti attacks. However, these speculations often lack solid evidence and scientific support. In recent years, advancements in technology have allowed researchers to conduct more detailed analyses of the available evidence. While these efforts may shed light on certain aspects of the incident, they have yet to provide a conclusive and widely accepted explanation. The Dyatlov Pass incident endures as a symbol of the unknown and the unexplained, drawing interest from both amateur investigators and professional researchers alike. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, the case remains open and the mystery persists, leaving the Dyatlov Pass incident as one of the most perplexing and enduring unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. The Dyatlov Pass incident has become a subject of fascination for those interested in the paranormal and the unexplained. Beyond scientific and logical theories, some speculate about supernatural elements surrounding the event. One theory suggests that the area is cursed or haunted, with local legends attributing mysterious happenings to supernatural entities. While such beliefs are not scientifically substantiated, they contribute to the overall mystique surrounding the Dyatlov Pass. The Dyatlov Foundation, established by Yuri Kuntsevich, a friend of Igor Dyatlov, has been instrumental in keeping the incident in the public eye. The Foundation has advocated for further investigations and has sought to honor the memory of the hikers by preserving the historical and cultural significance of the site. In recent years, podcasts and online communities dedicated to true crime and mysteries have fueled renewed interest in the Dyatlov Pass incident. Enthusiasts and armchair investigators continue to share theories, analyze evidence, and discuss the various possibilities surrounding the events of that winter night. In the years following the Dyatlov Pass incident, some researchers have explored the possibility of Soviet military involvement. The Ural Mountains were part of a restricted area, and it has been suggested that the hikers might have accidentally stumbled upon a secret military test site. However, this theory lacks substantial evidence, and the military has consistently denied any involvement. Some investigative journalists and researchers have criticized the initial investigation for its lack of transparency and potential cover-ups. The classified nature of the case files, the abrupt closure of the investigation, and the vague references to a compelling unknown force have fueled suspicions of a government conspiracy. However, without concrete evidence, such claims remain speculative. In 2020, Russian authorities announced plans to re-examine the case once again. The goal was to address the many lingering questions and put forward a more comprehensive explanation for the events of 1959. The results of this effort, if any, have not been widely disseminated as of my last knowledge update. The Dyatlov Pass incident continues to be a subject of debates, documentaries, and discussions within the true crime and mystery communities. While the case remains officially unsolved, the enduring interest in it ensures that it will continue to be scrutinized by those seeking answers to the perplexing questions surrounding that cold and fateful night in the Ural Mountains. 
See you eerie spirits in the next video.